He told you. Senator Rand Paul calling out the media after newly released emails show a key Wuhan researcher thanked Dr. Fauci for downplaying the coronavirus lab leak theory. But still, the press wasted no time gushing over the emails, 3,000 plus, actually praising their frank honesty and the pressure that one that fell on one man's shoulders. Senator Rand Paul joins us now to react. Senator, I watched you with Laura last night. I've been watching you along the way. We also watched your exchange with Dr. Fauci live. What do the 3,200 emails tell you? Well, they tell me that early on he was very worried. You know, there's a disturbing picture. He gets an email or he gets notification of what's going on in Wuhan, and he immediately sends something to his assistant, an email saying, we must meet immediately. Read this article. And in the subject line in the article, it says gain of function research in Wuhan. Well, he still denies to this day that he was funding it. And as you know, gain of function is where you take an animal virus and you make it into a super virus that infects humans. They were doing this at the Wuhan lab. Dr. Fauci still denies it to this day. But in his private emails, he puts in the subject line, urgent, we must discuss this gain of function research. So he knows it's gain of function and he needs to be pinned down on this. There are scientists across America who will dispute what he's saying, who says that specifically the grant and the money given to Wuhan that Dr. Fauci approved that it was gain of function research. And we need to talk to these scientists in this field and hear from them about how Dr. Fauci is not being honest with the American public. And, you know, just the tone of some of these emails, even though some of them were redacted, some of them redacted, show the urgency of basically OMG. Uh, I can, are we basically responsible for that? And should the guy who's funding these labs be in charge of telling America how to handle it and what happened here? There's a, there's a disconnect to putting him in charge. That was a big mistake. Yeah, so early on, you know, I was somewhat persuaded. All these scientists were telling me that it couldn't have come from the lab, and I listened to them. But then I discovered that they had not revealed that they were the very scientists that were funding the lab. So the conflict of interest is this. If this virus came from the lab, there's a certain amount of at least moral culpability to the people who are advocating for this. Dr. Fauci, to this day, says he still trusts the Chinese scientists. I don't think he seems to be aware of the way it works in a communist government. Do you think there aren't military generals? generals in that lab as well? Do you think some of the scientists aren't also in the Communist Party and the military? So I don't think that uh, having trust of Chinese scientists with gain of function research was very wise. In fact, it was so naive that we shouldn't have Dr. Fauci in a position of advising the U.S., the world, or anybody else because he's so shown such poor decision making. So I watched you brawl with him many times, but I thought in a, in a fair way, and he would try to answer your questions, but the question was, was he telling the truth? One of which is unmasked. You told him. I, I I've had it already. I have the antibodies. We don't know that for sure if you need to wear a mask. We have an email of him saying cloth masks don't work to somebody else. So he tells one side, one scientist trying to urge him to tell the country to wear masks. He's telling somebody else they don't work. What do you think he thinks? It's the very definition of theater. If you ask him about immunity, if you ask him privately, if I've had the disease, do I in all likelihood have immunity? He'll say yes, but then he'll say, oh, we're gonna completely discount it. And this is a very important public policy decision. In India, there's a billion people. 400,000 people a day are getting this. They have 4,000 people a day dying at least. And so there's a real question. Should you give the vaccine to people who've already had the disease or should you save the vaccine for people who haven't been infected? There's not enough vaccine to go around in India. This is probably the most important public policy or public health decision in the world right now. But because Dr. Fauci isn't being honest about immunity, they may well be giving the vaccine to people already infected, which is not allowing enough people to get vaccinated for them to get to herd immunity. And Dr. Ann Paul, this is some people should keep in mind. If he has the checkbook and he's funding these labs and these are research that the researchers want funded, why would they ever come out against him? They would be right. against their own interests. So this, well, this formula doesn't work for America. Well, he has yet to apologize or even admit that they were doing gain of function research, even though his private emails admit immediately to his underling, oh my goodness, we have to do something immediately about this gain of function research. So he admits in private what he won't say in public. And this is a big deal because if he would at least say he made a mistake, there might be some consideration, but he's still denying that we funded the Wuhan lab gain of function research or that they were doing it or that it was an unwise decision. There's a bigger decision also, Brian. We have 11 labs in the United States doing gain of function. 
Now, I don't give our researchers bad motives. I think our researchers are good people. But I worry about the idea of whether we should take the Spanish flu and try to transmit it and make it easier to infect with humans, and whether that's a good idea and whether it could possibly escape in the U.S. as well. So this research, many, many scientists, not just people in the political world, but many scientists are very, very wary of this. And I'm going to try to have a hearing in Washington. I don't think the Democrats will allow us to do it officially, but I'm going to try to have a, a, an open discussion in the Capitol, bringing and the scientists who discuss and are worried about gain of function. Most of these people are not partisans. They're not Republicans or Democrats. They're just scientists. But they are impartial scientists who have been worried about this for a decade that this could happen. Yeah, uh, actually, what you brought up is not partisan either. I think we're all against uh, the coronavirus and stopping the next one. Uh, and you've been there first. Uh, hashtag fire Fauci. I know exactly how you feel going into the segment. And I don't think you've changed your mind during. Uh, Senator Rand Paul, thanks for bringing all this front, front and center. Appreciate it.